Hey everyone, welcome back. Ready for another deep dive. Absolutely. Always excited to dig in. Today we're going to be, well, we're diving into a song, right? Okay. Sounds good. But it's not just about the lyrics. It's about like how the music itself just grabs you and makes you feel something. I know exactly what you mean. Like the way a song can just totally shift your mood. Yes. Yes. Have you ever listened to a song and like really wanted to understand how it works, its magic, how it creates that emotional impact? Definitely. Yeah. There are some songs where it's like, wow, how did they do that? Exactly. So that's what we're exploring today. We're breaking down how this song uses both lyrics and music to create this intense, raw, emotional experience. I'm intrigued. Let's do it. Okay, so uh, right off the bat, the lyrics hit you with this wave of like betrayal, anger, mm. this real frustration. It's almost painful to listen to, you know? Yeah, I can see that. It's pretty raw, isn't it? Yeah. It is. I mean, you've got lines like, betrayal burns, power suppressed, silence lies in pieces. They just cut right to the chase. It's interesting you bring those up because I think it's those specific words, burns, suppressed pieces that make it so powerful. Those words create a very visceral reaction, you know? Oh. Silence lies in pieces. I don't know. It's like you can hear that silence, you know, heavy and broken. It's like a shattered vase. You can't put it back together. Precisely. And then on top of those lyrics, you've got the music, which, man, it just takes everything to a whole other level. Oh, for sure. The music is so key here. Right. Like those uh, those aggressive guitar riffs, the way they use that calm muting thing. Yeah, the palm mute. And the tempo is so fast. It's like this sonic representation of the chaos the lyrics are describing. Absolutely. It's like you're right there in the middle of that emotional storm. Exactly. And you know how certain sounds can make you feel something physically? Oh, yeah, totally. That's not an accident. Like the, that heavy bass drum they use, especially during the chorus, you feel that in your chest, right? That's purposeful. It's adding to that feeling of pressure, of being trapped, which, if you think about it, connects back to the lyrics about being suppressed. Wow. Yeah, I never even thought about it like that. It's amazing how much impact those little details can have, isn't it? It really is. And speaking of impact, that bridge. Oh, man, that bridge. The way it builds up, the guitar solo starts, the vocals get even more intense. And then... And then, bam! <laughs> Break the chains. Uh, it's like this huge release, this moment of breaking free from like whatever's been holding you back. So good. You know, you just made me realize that bridge isn't just a musical break. It's like the uh, it's the climax of the whole emotional journey of the song. Totally. And then by the end, when they scream unleashed, unbowed. Ooh, chills. Right. It sends shivers down your spine. Yeah. You get this feeling of like complete defiance, resilience. Yeah. You went through something really rough, but you came out stronger. Exactly. And I think that's why music like this can be so cathartic, because it lets us experience and process these really difficult emotions, but in a safe way. It's like a pressure valve. Exactly. And, you know, even if we haven't gone through the exact same thing that the song is about. Like we haven't all had this exact experience of betrayal. Right. But the feelings themselves, the betrayal, the anger, the frustration, the resilience, those are things that everyone can relate to on some level. That's so true. It's like the music gives you permission to feel those things. You yeah, know? that's a great way to put it. Permission to feel. <laughs> Your 
So what have we learned today? We've learned that music is more than just something to listen to. It's this incredibly powerful tool for emotional expression. Right. A tool for processing. Yes. And this song, it's like a perfect example of how lyrics and music can work together to like really get under your skin and make you feel something deeply. It really is. And it kind of makes you wonder how often do we actually listen to music in that way? Like really actively listen with the intention of processing our emotions. That's a good question. And, you know, if there's a song that does that for you, mm. a song that helps you to, you know, unleash those feelings and process things and come out stronger, well, that's something worth exploring. It really is. And hey, while you're listening to this song later, pay attention to how you react physically. You yeah. Know? Where do you feel it in your body? Exactly. What emotions bubble up? Yeah. It's pretty amazing what music can unlock within us.